हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज सुशील सिंह एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ सिक्वल सर्वर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट हाउ टू रिवर्स एनी स्ट्रिंग विदाउट यूजिंग रिवर्स फंक्शन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस इज अवर कोड आई हैव डिक्लेयर्ड थ्री वेरिएबल्स फर्स्ट इज फॉर इनपुट स्ट्रिंग सेकंड इज फॉर लेंथ एंड थर्ड वन इज फॉर फाइनल आउटपुट स्ट्रिंग इनिशियली आई हैव इनिशियलाइज दिस फाइनल आउटपुट स्ट्रिंग एज ए ब्लैंक सेकंड इज I would like to initialize some record uh, on this input string. So I have initialized a b c space x y z as our input string in this input variable, and we want to calculate the length of this input variable. So by using length formula, I have calculated here. So second is we want to use a loop, and inside the loop we want to uh, reverse of this string. So this loop will be executed until and unless the value of this length formula would be greater than 0 inside this loop i have used a substring function so first of all i would like to explain what is substring function so substring function is a string type function and it takes the three input parameters first is for the expression by which we want to get the result second is the starting point uh, by what character we want to Uh, start the counting and second what the length we want to you know uh, get in our output so in this we can see first second so we want to pick the values from b and how many characters we want we want four characters so b c space and v this is the four characters we want in our output so we can see here b c space v so this is our output so inside this loop i have used this formula so first when first time this loop will executed uh, value of this length would be 7 so this is our expression expression is abc xy space xyz then the length at the rate length value is 7 so it will pick the values from 7 and how many character it will pick only one character so we can count in uh, in this input abc space so 7 would be z so and we want only one character so output of this substring for the first execution would be z and first time at that final value is blank so we want to concatenate blank with z so final value for the first time when this loop will be executed would be z and then we want to decrease the value of this at the rate length variable by 1 so when the second time this loop will be executed the value of this length would be 6 it will check the condition condition is satisfied at the rate length is greater than 0 so value of this length is 6 so it will again uh, go inside the loop and when second time go inside inside the loop the value of this final variable would be z so then substring expression would be same abc space xyz the only thing has been changed is length variable length variable is 6 for the second execution so it will pick the value of y in this input string and it will concatenate z is our final then y of the y of this substring output so final value for after second execution would be z and y then again at the length variable has been decreased by 1 so for the third execution the value of this length variable would be 5 so value of final would be z and y and we want to concatenate z y plus this substring substring output for the third execution length of this um variable would be 5 so we can see here it's a 3 4 5 so 5 would be x so x is uh only one character has been picked by this substring and would be x so the, uh, we can see this execution of this loop will pick the values from right side and put in the final output variable so on my last execution this all input string has been converted into reverse order 
so we want to execute this query this is something copy this query and paste into new, new query window paste the query and execute and we can see the string has been converted into reverse order i hope you have understand the logic how we can use the substring function and how it works so thank you for watching this video this is our query if you want this query this query will available on my facebook page if you need